What does it take to turn a rawhide into leather? Last time in the Puma archives, Roma told me about zoology leather and how it uses less water and less chemicals. I wanted to find out more. So I'm off to Thailand to visit one of Puma's core leather suppliers to discover how raw hides become plush leather and how chemicals and water play a part. This factory processes over 416,000 hides each year, turning them into leather for bats and shoes worldwide. Tanning leather makes it more durable and this process takes work. There are 12 steps and about 20 to 25 chemicals used depending on the finish. CPM now uses safer chemicals that meet the European Union's REACH regulations, reducing environmental impact and enhancing leather quality. Remember the Puma Resway shoe? The one that can be turned into compost using special industrial processes. It's made possible with CPL's zoology tanning process. This process significantly reduces environmental impact, but chemicals are still chemicals, right? Using the right chemicals can mean less water and energy usage, leading to lower greenhouse gas emissions. Leather tanning uses a lot of water to clean and treat the hides. In the next episode, I will explore more about what happens to this water at the end of the process, so stay tuned.